Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to replace your battery or remove your battery for your ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X515JA model. If you want to know the exact model for this one is an 155JA-BQ504T. That information can be at the bottom of the laptop. To remove the battery, this applies for any ASUS X515 series, so it doesn't have to be exactly the same. They all open up the same way and they all replace the battery in the same way. So all you need to do is to power off the laptop completely. Once the power is off to the laptop, all you need to do is to remove the bottom screws. Remember the bottom screws are made out of the three sides of the screws, the short ones, which are the front end of the laptop, the mediums, which are the middle ones, three of them, and the far back at the back end which are three of them these are the long ones the front ones are the four short ones to open them up i'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set we're going to be using a phillips number one if you want to get the opening tool grab the pro version of this set and they will include you an opening tool and some tweezers if you don't just grab a guitar pick a metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening powers plastics anything like that so we're going to start removing all these screws, there are three types of screws, so keep them in a three, three different piles so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos and if my video helps you guys out to do your own services and cleaning and upgrade, you can just simply click that like and support me by subscribing to the channel, I'll really appreciate it. All right, once you remove all the screws, now what you want to do, you want to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just somewhere over there just stick it right in there see if you like you see it in focuses right there now you want to twist it towards the back side of the towards the screen and do the sides go all the way back to the corner make sure you hear those clicks that's what you want to hear all right, once you remove those, now you want to grab it from the covers in the bottom. There's a tiny hooks in here that they hold it from the case. So what you want to do, you want to pull the case a little harder towards the ceiling and we'll wiggle it around and pull it up and it will release those hooks. So just bring up and you're going to hear a big click. So pull it up and pull towards the back and it will release the hinges on the back. All right. And down here, you're going to see the battery right in front of you. There's a, this flex cable goes over, which is for the hard drive right here. We're going to remove this flex cable by lifting up this hinge for this lock right here. Put your finger right at the back and lift it up 90 degrees. And then you can slide back the flex cable. It has a little adhesive to it, so lift it up and bring it up. Now, to remove the battery, we have to remove this screw. One, two, three screws. So go ahead and remove these three screws. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Now all you need to do to grab it from the match from the front, bring it up and unhook it from here. There's a tiny hook. Bring it up and put it in this position. Now, this part I would recommend you to guys grab any type of plastic to work in here. We need to put this metal hook towards the back about one millimeters. Just look, just like that as long as it's not over this white cover just push it back like that next you just want to put this hook right under the jack and pull it towards the ceiling towards the upward and that's how you want to do it it just comes up okay and this will be your battery i'll try to link for the new battery on the video description check the video description for the new battery the model for this one it should be somewhere over here there's a battery model there is a battery model the model is a c21 n1818 that's the model for the battery so i'll leave the link for the new one let's say you get the new battery in before you align it right in there grab it in this position make sure the lock is all the way towards the back put it straight on top and push it towards the motherboard and bring the lock back over now first you want to put this bottom corner under this hook right there right underneath and 
make sure the cable is not under the battery put it right there and put the three screws for the battery one at the bottom and two on the top side of the battery also remember once you remove the battery when you power on the laptop it will take up to 15 seconds before it shows anything boots up so don't panic when you power on so we're going to grab this flex cable this flex cable has a little earlobes to the sides so you can't slide it straight you have to bring it down in 45 degrees towards the jack and then set it down and then lock it down so i'm going to bring it down in 45 degrees keep the lock open 45 degree all the way in and towards the motherboard and then lock it down okay and the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover let me just squish this part i don't want to squish the stuff okay so grab this bottom cover bring it over the straight and push down the corner the side the back end make sure you hear those tiny clicks make sure you push down here too there's a tiny clips they should click in there you go not too hard and neither too soft if you see any opening just pinch them the bottom and top cover and uh, obviously at the back they should be opening i see this opening right there so i'm just gonna pretty much gently pinch them together now we're gonna put the bottom screws and we're gonna power on to see if it powers on let me see which ones are the long one and the short one this is the long one the long and short one the long and mediums are about 1.3 millimeter difference so make sure you don't mix match those now we're gonna power it on and we're gonna wait five to ten seconds Let me see if the light, the light is on on the side, so let's just wait. Uh, we should see a logo right on top. So don't panic when this happens, because every time you remove the internal battery, for the motherboard to do a RAM check and the component checks, it takes about 5 to 8, 15 seconds. Every brand is different. So let's just wait. And there we go. Now we got the logo and yeah, and the desktop. So and how this is how you obviously I'm connected with a battery, but there's a battery charge on it. And this is how you replace or upgrade or remove your battery for your ASUS X515 JA models. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, please click the like button and think about subscribing to support the channel. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.